So again, we're going to access our admin panel. So the first thing we want to do is create a super user. So I'm going to do Python manage.py and then all one word, create super user. All right. So assuming I have no typos there, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now it's going to prompt me to fill out some fields. So um, let's create some fields. Let's say my admin user will be admin books and then email address I'll pass. So if you want to just use the default, you just hit enter um, password. They do kind of bother you for the password. I'm going to put a dummy password in there. Sure, it's too short. I don't care. All right. So now my super user was created successfully. That was step one. Step two is not really a step, but you want to go to your URLs. Make sure that this path for admin is in there. All right, I can name this whatever I want. So let's call it donuts, because why not? Um, but usually you want to you know, call it admin because it's easy to access, remember? Um, so this will go to your admin site URLs. This is something that's built into Django. So that's step two, just verify that this exists. I'm going to change this name back because I don't want to confuse anyone. Admin is what you should see there. So that should already be there. You don't really need to do anything. Third step, you want to go to your app. So in this case, it's books. There's this admin pi file that already exists. Okay, I'm gonna click there. Um, notice there's nothing in here. I'm gonna import my models. So from uh, books.model. I only have one model, in this case it's book. All right, and then I'm gonna register this with my admin site. So I'm gonna do admin that site, I believe, that register. Register, that's correct. Um, all right, so this is telling my admin site that this book model is something I want to have uh, accessible in my admin panel. So that's step three. So step one, again, create a super user through your terminal using manage.py and the create super user keyword. Um, then you want to verify that your path exists for your admin panel. Thirdly, you need to register your models um, with the admin site. So let me save that. Um, Having many troubles with Zoom. Okay, so I did that. And now now let's actually access it. So I'm going to go to my browser. So instead of going to localhost 8000 books, I'm going to go to admin because that's the route I had. And my server is not running. Python manage.py run server. All right, server's up. Now I could go to that site. So I'm going to refresh. All right, notice we get a nice login panel. We're gonna enter in our username, which is the, the super user that we just created. So I believe my name was admin books and my password, one letter, not very secure. I'm gonna hit login. All right, now we're in the administration panel. So we have groups and users. This is the default stuff that Django has. We don't really care about that. But notice that we have books here. This is our model that we actually created. So it knows about our model and actually it's quite useful. So if I click on books, um, notice we have all of our data that we created. So we created Green Eggs and Ham, Twilight, where the sidewalk ends. I think we deleted book four. That's why it doesn't exist. And book five is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Let's actually go to where the sidewalk ends. Notice it has all of our properties in there too. We have author, pages, and title. Um, I guess am I fiction and nonfiction? So that's down here. So we can actually modify this data. So instead of going through uh, SQL or going through Django, we can just use this panel and like, let's say I update this to, I don't know, let's say it actually has 311 pages. So I can hit save and then let's actually go to my web page. So that was localhost slash books. All right, notice that my data was updated on my page. So this admin panel can just, it makes it way easy to create and update your data um, rather than writing seed files. I would actually probably prefer to do it over here um, so let's add a new book. Let's just say the Bible is a book. Author, I'm not sure who the author is. Let's say God, I don't know. Pages, I'm not sure. 500 pages, let's estimate. Fiction, nonfiction, uh, that's a little tricky, but let's, uh, let's just say it's nonfiction. Save. All right, there we go. Got added. And then refresh. And there. Easy as that. So your admin panel, um, again, just makes it easy to manage your data rather than you having to type out Python uh, queries or whatever. All right, so I just want to make sure everyone kind of understands why the admin panel is there, how to access it. Again, create super user, make sure that your uh, route exists for your admin um, panel. And then finally, um, 
step three is register your models. That's the easiest to forget because if you don't register it, you're not going to see your models listed in your admin panel. Quick question. Uh, does it alter your code at all or no? Nope. This uh, doesn't mess with your code. It, it will update your database. So when I'm adding a book object, it's actually adding it to my database. All right. Um, all right. That's all I wanted to show. Hopefully that was under 10 minutes. So let me uh, stop the recording here.